It's the secret weapon in the war on energy consumption. With a worldwide energy crisis upon us, scientists and contractors are scrambling to design and build more fuel-efficient buildings. Energy-saving insulation is key to winning any battle waged at the fuel pump. It's pumped up, it's gooey, and it's one of the best insulators available. It's foam. Foam products come in many forms. One of the most effective is spray. The process of spraying foam insulation is almost an art form. It takes a steady eye, a sure hand, and a definite sense of rhythm. The 1970s saw the advent of the idea of the super insulated home. Foam is a substance that is formed by trapping many gas bubbles in a liquid or solid. One of the most popular foams is polyurethane. Originally developed during the 1940s for military and aviation applications, it began to be used as insulation during the 1950s. In the 1970s, innovators began spraying the material. Polyurethane is made of several key ingredients. These are the materials you see stored in the large tanks behind me. This is a polyol. It's based on sucrose or sugar and petroleum products. This is a surfactant. Surfactant controls the size and the shape of the bubbles. This is a catalyst which controls reaction rate. The quicker the reaction, the smaller the bubbles. The size of the bubbles is important because it dictates the density of the foam. Roofing foam, which might be walked on, needs to be stronger and denser than wall foam, which is rarely touched after it's applied. All of this is factored into the formula when a batch of foam material is mixed at the factory. But where do the bubbles come from? The blowing agent. The blowing agent is a liquid that has a low boiling point. When it's spray applied, it converts from a liquid to a gas, forming the bubbles. These four ingredients are mixed together into one liquid, but they're only part of the recipe for making foam. The other part is a substance called isocyanate, a highly reactive molecule. It's separated from the other ingredients until the spraying begins. They're dispensed separately all the way through the hoses to the gun. When the applicator pulls the gun, the materials are mixed together, the reaction occurs. It hits the substrate in a liquid form, but the reaction drives the expansion very, very quickly. Within seconds, you've got cellular plastic. A properly insulated house can save a homeowner a great deal of money. The consumer today is better educated as far as the value of better insulation in their home. What they have learned is they can pay a little bit more on the front end to better insulate their home, but they will recoup savings in the long term versus their energy costs because their house is better insulated.